here I am standing in front of uh, Shenyang Zhongshan Park, located in Heping District. Zhongshan Park is located on the south side of Zhonghua Road, Heping District, Shenyang, covering an area of 161,000 square meters. Founded in 1924 during the Japanese puppet period, it was called Chiryoda Park, and Chinese people were restricted from entering the park. In 1946, in the memory of Mr. Sun Yatsen, it was renamed as Zhongshan Park. That literally means Mount Central Park. After 40 years of planning and construction after liberation, it has become one of the key parks in Shenyang. In Zhongshan Park, there are green trees and safflowers, rockery pavilions, small bridges, and flowing water. Although it is located in the bustling downtown area, it has its own kind of tranquility. The park is divided into five areas. The central park is the semi-underground sinking pool. The south park is the corridor. The southwest is the children's paradise. The southeast is the rockery and grassland. And northwest is the Tongle city. The whole park is crisscrossed with roads, shady trees, flowers, and quietness in the midst of the hustle and bustle. So I'm here on the occasion of the 10th annual Chrysanthemum Flower Exhibition over here. Uh, every year in the month of October during the Chinese, Chinese national holidays, uh, this park holds um, a big flower exhibition for chrysanthemum. So this has been the 10th year. And this year, they have come up even with a bigger uh, variety of chrysanthemums. And there are over 600 kinds, including hybrid, and the actual 40 kinds of uh, chrysanthemums in this park. So let's get in and explore how many kinds can I cover today. This flower has a very sparkly name. The chrysanthemum was originally cultivated in China many centuries ago, with people attempting to grow and shape different varieties of the flower. It was then introduced to the West, where it's done botanists with its bright colors and range of shapes. Chrysanthemums got their names in the 17th century from the Greek words of golden, chrysos, and flower, and thamon. This is because the original chrysanthemums were yellow in color. Chrysanthemums are the birth flower of the month November. If you are lucky enough to be born in November, you share your birth month with this gorgeous flower. Chrysanthemums represent fun, generosity, and friendliness, meaning they are a perfect match if you celebrate your birthday in November. Chrysanthemums bloom up until early winter, so these flowers are definitely at their best during the 11th month of the year. This flower is a true gentleman. The chrysanthemum is one of the four gentlemen, four nobles, four plants that are frequently found in traditional Chinese ink paintings. The plum blossom, the orchid, the bamboo, and the chrysanthemum represent purity, as well as the four seasons. The chrysanthemum flower denotes autumn and the harvest. Chrysanthemums can make you feel better. Humans can actually eat chrysanthemums safely, and they have been used as medicine for thousands of years. In Southeast Asia, the stalks are popular boiled or lightly steamed and traditionally have been used as a cure for headaches. Chrysanthemums can be made into tea, which is full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And it is said to give you a good boost when you are feeling under the weather. Bear in mind that chrysanthemum flowers can be harmful to dogs and cats, so please keep your blooms away from Rex and Tiger. These flowers are excellent for clearing the air. A lovely bunch of chrysanthemum flowers not only make a room look nicer, but can also make a room feel nicer too. 
A study by NASA showed that chrysanthemum are the best plants for clearing the air, removing indoor pollutants and making homes feel a lot fresher. There's never been a better excuse to have a lovely bouquet of chrysanthemums in every room of the home. Chrysanthemums are the flower of mourning and used to express grief in some countries. These blooms are well known for representing life and joy, but in some countries they represent the opposite. In European countries, including France, Italy, and Belgium, chrysanthemums symbolize death and are often seen on the graves and in funeral bouquets. The exact reason behind this is unknown, but All Saints Day in France is celebrated on 1st November. It is likely that as chrysanthemums are in bloom at that time, they are used to commemorate long lost loved ones. Chicago is a massive fan of the chrysanthemums. Almost all American states and some cities have an official flower. The chrysanthemum has been the official flower of the city of Chicago since 1966. The official portrait of former President Barack Obama painted in 2018 includes a background of colorful chrysanthemum flowers. This represented the time he spent working and teaching in the city. Chrysanthemums are really big in Japan. These flowers hold a very special place in the heart of Japanese society. When chrysanthemums were first introduced, the imperial royal family was fascinated by them, to the point that it used the flower on its throne and the official seal. Even to this day, Japan holds a National Chrysanthemum Day on 9th September and the Supreme Order of the Chrysanthemum is the highest honor a Japanese citizen can receive. And bugs really don't like chrysanthemums. While this wonderful flower is adored by people all over the world, bugs aren't so keen. Chrysanthemums contain a compound called pyrethrum, which is commonly found in insect repellents. Savvy gardeners often plant clusters of chrysanthemum flowers around flowers that they want to protect from pests. Chrysanthemums are the longest lasting cut flower plants around. If you are looking for a bouquet with a long vase life, Chrysanthemums are the perfect choice. These flowers can last between two to four weeks, making them one of the hardiest blooms around. You can extend the life of your chrysanthemum even further by regularly changing the water and following the flower care tips we include in every bouquet. Colors of chrysanthemums all have different meanings. In the Victorian era, flowers had their own individual meanings. This meant you could tell a loved one exactly what you thought of them with a carefully chosen floral arrangements. Chrysanthemums come in a rainbow of colors which all means different things. For example, a red chrysanthemum flower symbolizes love and passion. A pink bloom represents friendship and a white flower signifies loyalty. So basically there are 20,000 different varieties of chrysanthemums and in this park they have shown almost 600 different varieties. Uh, all 40 original varieties are present here but uh, the hybrid ones they have chosen a few kinds which are very famous in China and because they represent a culture so that's why they have shown almost 600 kinds but we can divide chrysanthemums into nine basic varieties. 
As I mentioned earlier, that there are nine basic kinds of chrysanthemums, and we divide them under the classification of uh, number one, single, two, decorative, three, in curve, four, reflex, five, pom pom, six, in moan, seven, spoon, eight, quill, and nine, spider. So these are basically the first nine kinds. The most uh, ancient one is the yellow chrysanthemums that was cultivated in China very long ago and that was the origin of the name as well. Chrysos meaning golden and uh, anthemum meaning a flower, so a golden flower. And I think now it's more like a rainbow flower but that's what chrysanthemum is. So this park basically has uh, almost six entrances located on each and every direction of the park. And uh, this is the uh, eastern entrance of the park, and you would not see even a single piece of chrysanthemum. And the reason behind that is that chrysanthemum requires at least four hours of sun. But because the buildings at my back, you can see, you can't see, let me switch the camera. These tall buildings at the back, they cover all the morning sun. And of course, the trees cover the afternoon sun. And there's no sun coming from the north. And in the west, again, there are tall skyscrapers. So no sunlight comes here. And that's the reason we won't see any chrysanthemums over here. So even in your garden, you should make sure that you have four to six hours of sun available for chrysanthemums. But behind me is the eastern gate and you can see that this building is not very tall so you get the morning sun and that shines throughout the throughout the afternoon all the way it goes behind me and sets in the west so that's why we would see a lot of chrysanthemums planted here all around the park you can see it right back and if I show you the soil here you could see that the soil is very fluffy and pretty easily drained soil and that's what chrysanthemum likes it doesn't like the clay soil you just keep it a little fluffy and your chrysanthemums would blow at their best. Last time when I came here, they were not watered. It was totally dry and it's been two weeks. So I guess uh, they watered them just today. Chrysanthemums, they don't need much of the water. Even in your garden, once a week is enough for them and keep it dry. Right now I'm standing towards the northern side of the park and this is the limit. Beyond that, you will not see even a single chrysanthemum being placed here. And again, the reason is the sun. And this is the area that we go and face towards north. So south is on my back, so the sun stays mostly up over there. So that's why the sun shines in this area and it's not covered with the trees as well. Not densely populated trees. And this is the reason that most of the park has uh, these chrysanthemums towards the southern side, towards the western side, and towards the eastern side. But anything in the corners, like completely north side is also empty, northeast, northwest is empty. Uh, but and again, is the southeast and southwest is empty area because sun doesn't shine there. And this is what you have to see in your garden as well. Here I'm facing towards west, and that's why when the sun is setting in the in, in, in the west in the evening, there's a, a lot of sun that comes here. Now let me turn 180 degrees back and show you the east. So, and again, eastern sun is also available from there. So in the morning, they get two to three hours of sun. And then in the evening, they get two to three hours of sun. That's why the planters have placed them here as well. But if you move towards north, you will see nothing. And the only reason is no sunlight. If there's no sunlight, they don't grow well. Chrysanthemums can be grafted, they can grow from seeds, and if you overwinter them, 
you can get the same plant and you know producing over and over again but in northeast of china where i'm located at the moment uh, the weather conditions are pretty intense very harsh weather here in winter u.s equivalent uh, five to seven zone so they don't last i mean the roots they get frozen and then they never grow again but they seed in abundance so you can see in the middle of the plant over here so that middle part everything becomes a seed and that becomes a new plant so that's why you can grow them from the seeds you can graft them the way they are grafted here and have beautiful chrysanthemums so I guess uh, the chrysanthemum lovers would love this video and those who don't know much about chrysanthemum flowers have known a lot through this video. And I hope to see you guys again. Grow chrysanthemums once and have them forever. Bye bye.